So when you're gonna create your own word list, you need to pay attention to the fact that people tend to have a particular pattern to the password. Now that could be many different things. Let's assume that you know something or you don't know something. So <clears throat> you can use some script. You can use this script here, Bob Scrap Scrap, whatever the Bob is, C R K. And um, it's going to be a script that can uh, collect information from you and from that, you know, basically um, generate a word list. So let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, I started the script, you know, the installation and everything. I'm going to put a link in the description with how you can install this and, you know, the way to set it up. But you have to do it yourself, of course. Um, so it's going to ask for the minimum length. So I would say eight in this particular case would be fine and 12 today is fine the first name of the victim let's assume this guy is called martin surname let's assume it's um hansen and last name could be uh <coughs> sloan and then the birth date well we could we could put something so 11 05 uh, 1999 and now we have the, the choice of putting, you know, names of song and lyrics lyrics down there. No, I, I think I'm going to skip that for now because I don't know. So all the relevant information could be stuff like Star Wars, for example, and Star Trek. That could be it. And then transform yes and case and combine. Let's just use two. And <clears throat> the output, let's call it um, Martin's passwords. And then we're gonna create that list, you know, and it, it will run pretty fast and generate, <laughs> look at this, 135,630 different kind of passwords. So let's go ahead and check the file now, what it did with this kind of information. And it took all this kind of, you know, I don't know why there's a space right there, could probably remove it. Um, you can see that it have all these kind of weird combination, Martin Hansen, Martin Sloan, 11, just going downwards, you know, <clears throat> all kind of weird, of different weird combinations that could possibly be one of the passwords this guy have. So look at this kind of list here, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be different compared to the uh, tr um, Rocky uh, password lists and also very different compared to the other password lists there are. Let's go ahead and just uh, know and let's uh, tail this, uh, Martins. Uh, there we go. And you can see the very very last uh, list of passwords. It can do something like that. You know, all this is um, a weird way of thinking. This is the script. It will. You can put in different kind of you know information. You can press. <coughs> Uh, different kind of combinations and stuff like that. I just used more or less the easiest way just to show this for you. So if you're gonna create a password, you know, list of um, possible uh, usable passwords for one user, using a script like this could be the way to go for you. This is a short video, just me talking about that, you know, try hack me and hack the boxes way of doing things is not always necessarily the best way because they choose standardized passwords, which is in the list already. And that is of course for the learning curve because you just need to learn how to use the actual word list. But I'm more like a, re a little more realistically based now. So um, you have to go out and find information about the kind of guy, what his name, surname, last name, birth date can be really, really good sometimes. Also, if you know in the social security number, depending on where you are in the world, there's more than um, just the, well, in Denmark, the social security number is actually the birth date plus extra four. So if you know the birth date, you have some of the social security number, but it's still the last four. And there are different kinds of rules in different kinds of countries. In Denmark, for men, the last four have to be odd women it's even so you know if it ends with a seven or a five or three or one or nine then it is a man all right so um i guess that's it for this video just a small quick realistic example of how to generate a password list 
link is in the description below and you're just gonna follow that install it and I basically just did it before I used the git clone repo and and well basically you know that's it really easy hope you could use this video for something and continue red teaming